A nossa Amazônia, nós faremos sim, mais do que o coração do Brasil, seremos a alma econômica do nosso Brasil. É It's moving fast. It's not just a ground fire, it's reaching up into the canopy here too, and just scorching everything. Não tem mais controle agora, só quando Deus manda chuva, ok? Is this usual amount of fire that you see? No. Para mim não é normal. Para 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 mim é um assassinato. Are you worried about the illicit activity that happens here? Aí é onde chama a terra sem lei é nesse caso aí. Que a pessoa não pode fazer nada. Que é a lei de mais forte. E queremos fazer o casamento do meio ambiente com o progresso. Pará, Brazil. Parts of the rainforest in this region have lost so much tree cover, it hardly looks like the Amazon. I'm on a highway called the BR-163. In August, this corridor for soy and beef exports lit up like an inferno. Many of the fires were started on protected lands, on a single day, a so-called day of fire. So I take the highway here to a protected reserve that saw major burning on that day. It's called the Jamanxin National Forest. This year, the Jamanxin lost over 45 square miles of tree cover. That's an area twice the size of Manhattan. It's the worst deforestation of all protected areas in Brazil. But many people who live here see this as progress. And it has a lot to do with beef. Brazil is the world's largest exporter of beef. About half of the cattle are raised on pasture that used to be rainforest. And demand is growing. I'm visiting an annual barbecue and auction near the Jamanxin. But it's not your typical backyard get-together. Some landowners and ranchers here brazenly defy environmental laws. Last year, a government report linked this man, a union leader, to land-grabbing schemes. This woman, head of a national association, was fined for burning 350 acres of rainforest. This man, a local mayor, was caught destroying over 700 acres of virgin rainforest inside the Jamanxin Reserve. They all deny wrongdoing. O meu município, de um lado, é a aldeia indígena, e de outro lado, é a frona. What producers here want is to privatize the reserves, and there's hostility here towards anyone who tries to stop them. Precisamos acabar com essas ONGs que atrapalham o freio e atrasam o progresso do nosso Pará. Se fosse nos Estados Unidos, eles seriam condecorados como desbravadores, guerreiros, bravos, mas não. Nós não aguenta mais. Chega de conversa, meu secretário. Leve as minhas palavras ao presidente Bolsonaro e faça alguma coisa por essa região, meu secretário. Nos ajude. Nós acreditamos em vocês. The producers are petitioning an important government official, Nabon Garcia, appointed by President Bolsonaro to open up the Amazon for development. Quando os senhores e as senhoras verem aqui uma ONG, uma organização não governamental trabalhando contra o Brasil, denuncie. Não vamos mais aceitar nenhuma organização não governamental que venha aqui interferir na nossa soberania, que venha aqui conspirar contra o Brasil. There's no question which side Mr. Garcia is on. He's a rancher and farmer himself. According to your own government studies, many of the people in some of these protected areas came in after the park was created. They're in there illegally, according to your own government standards right now. No, 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 no. Isso é mais uma farsa, é mais uma mentira pregada 
por aqueles que não querem o bem do Brasil, pelos os inimigos do Brasil. Isso é mentira. Part of the part of the reason we're here is because of all the fires, right? No. No. Okay. To be clear, deforesting land without authorization is illegal in Brazil. It's seized land that's logged, burned, and converted, mostly for grazing. We're talking millions of acres, billions of dollars, and a web of criminal activity. But at the core of the issue is what turns out to be a pretty complicated question. Who does all this land belong to? I catch up with Luiz Helfenstein, who I'd met at the barbecue, Pode filmar o que vocês quiserem aí, tudo. Pode, 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 pode mostrar tudo aqui, não tem segredo. Tem até as caturitas que comem nossas frutas aqui. <laughs> His ranch is right at the edge of the Jamanchi National Forest. Aqui eu estou fazendo uma mangueira nova, lá embaixo, naquele barracão. He considers himself one of the pioneers here. When you started, is this the first settlement that you built? É, aqui é essa gleba toda. Eu sou filho de família grande. Aí meu pai tinha oito hectares de terras, uma família de dez filhos. E nós passamos muito aperto. Aí surgiu essa oportunidade que tinha essa área de terra aqui, que o governo colocou à disposição, como o, o, na época. Agora aqui não era reserva. Aqui era uma área que o governo queria que ocupasse. Luiz came here back in the 80s. He was handed 4,000 acres of rainforest, part of a government plan to develop the Amazon. Você podia fazer o projeto de manejo. Desses nossos vizinhos aqui, tinham 46 projetos de manejo. Eu separei umas fotos aqui, mais de, de fotos mais antigas, quando a gente começou a vir para cá na época. Isso aqui faz 30 anos. That's the BR-163, November 1994. Then, the political winds shifted and preservation became the priority. In 2006, the government established the Jamanchi National Forest, taking back most of the land previously given to Louise and other producers. Chega o Ibama, rufa o pau, porque você está irregular. Não, mas você não é dono da terra. They felt cheated, and some have responded by grabbing and burning protected land. I take a ride with Agamemnon de Silva Meneses. Is this your car? He's the head of a union for ranchers out here. A Amazônia é nossa. Que a gente vai preservar a Amazônia, mas preservar a Amazônia no, no, no viés da necessidade nossa, não da necessidade do mundo. Nunca ninguém se preocupou com a pessoa que está aqui, o ser humano que está aqui, o pai de família que está aqui. Isso que revolta. Né? A desobediência civil é nesse caso. Was the day of fire an example of that disobedience? No. Esse pedido de fogo não existiu. Não existiu. But satellite data confirms there was an unusual spike in the number of fires on August 10th. Local reporters wrote about this so-called day of fire, exposing a coordinated plan among ranchers and land grabbers to burn newly cleared forest. Bom dia. One of those reporters, Adesio Peran, soon found his face on a wanted poster. Eles começaram a me ameaçar para tirar a matéria, tirar a matéria, que me pressionaram muito para retirar a matéria. Did you ever receive death threats or threats to your personal safety? Recebi. Sim. That type of intimidation helps explain how so much criminal activity can go unpunished. Last year, 30 environmental activists were murdered in Brazil. I follow a group of firefighters with one of Brazil's environmental agencies into a biological reserve. The agency has been attacked by locals and their authority undermined by Bolsonaro's government. None of the men will speak on the record. So this is what the effort to protect the forest here now looks like. A handful of men carving control lines and putting out brush fires with a leaf blower. It takes a bird's eye view to capture the magnitude of what they're up against. This fire is nearly four miles long. According to Brazilian satellites, more than a soccer field worth of rainforest is cleared every minute. 
I'm back on the road, driving off federal land, when I see these two trucks. They pull onto the BR-163 highway with loads of fresh logs. <laughs> 